This is week four of my packaging videos, and as I end this prompt, I am going to prep up some additional packaging of those products that we buy, have in our kitchen, and when we finish utilizing, we toss the packaging. I'm going to use it to make some tags, some note cards, and some dangles. My name is Peg with 2O Cosmics Media. I thank you very much for following along with me in these monthly prompts where I take one item and do four different things or follow it for four weeks. I am going to coat the packaging, as I said before, with some watered-down gesso. And I have secured my packaging Put it, put it out. This is a granola box that the granola bars that I like so well that I normally eat my yogurt every morning with my yogurt every morning. And I have coated it with the gesso. Now that that watered down gesso is dry, I have this iron water that I'm going to take over the top of it and try to incorporate a little bit of rust into this packaging piece. And I will let that dry. This iron water is just that. It is a couple of rusty nails, <clears throat> a little bit of vinegar, setting in a jar and allowing that rust to form. And that's all there is to it. So now that I have that dry, I've pulled in my favorite stamp, which is just a random script. And I shall stamp across this entire piece of packaging. I'm utilizing vintage photo. Now I'm spraying it with a little bit of the vintage photo distress oxide as well. I pulled out a stencil and sprayed through it. I'm not sure that <clears throat> that made any huge difference, but that's what I did. So that's what I'll show. And I'm just turning it over and blotching it all kind of into place, making a <clears throat> master board, if you will, with this piece of packaging to utilize to make other things. So now I will cut it into sizes that I can work with. And I pulled out my friskers, fiskers cutting tool for that. And I have it cut into some note card size, some different tag sizes, and I have these little tiny pieces too that I'm going to use. But first, let's get this into that tag format by trimming off our edges and poking our hole through, rounding our corners on the end. And there, we have a tag. I'll do those with all of those rectangles and all these little tiny bits that I took one thin piece and just cut into sections. I have this little tiny hole punch that I'm going to punch through the top of each one of those. So now I have tags finished, I have note cards cut, and I have these little dangles cut. There are the note cards. There are the tags. And here are my little dangles. So let's start by finishing off these dangles. I've pulled out some high gloss, just clear high gloss embossing powder. I'm tapping these into that Versamark or that clear stamping liquid to make them a little wet with gluey substance and adherence. Shaking the clear gloss over the top of them and now I'll, I'll tap off the excess. And we'll funnel that back into my jar. Put these up on top of that paper and pull my heating tool out and we will set that embossing powder on top of these little dangles. And those turned out nice. 
So they have just this really shiny, clear, glossy finish with that embossing powder. And they kind of clink when you drop them on the table. So it makes them really a nice little dangly piece for your journal spines, for anything. You know, I'm going to put them on the tacks. So now that we have those, I'll shove those off to the side and I'm going to ink up the outside edge of my tags. And I'm just using the vintage photo to go around the outside edge of those. And I have made some of my own stamps in the past. And I thought, you know what, this might be a really good time to use these because I don't want to make this a difficult project or one that is just overwhelmingly complex in decorating these tags. I want to just maybe add a little bit of interest in black on them. And I thought these homemade stamps would do that quite well. And I have just little squares. I'm going to go up the side of these stamps. And I'll just continue until we get each and everything kind of coated with something. And now to add that black in, or I'm going to put it around the outside edge as well. And I think we have a very organic looking substrate. If we wanted to continue to decorate, we can when we get ready to put it into a journal. If we don't, we have something that, that will work. One of the final things I want to do is give these a nice back, and I am doing that by adhering them to this piece of coffee-stained paper. It's just that your basic typing paper that I have soaked in coffee water, and I am utilizing just a glue and water mixture, which I'll put the ratios up above, to secure those into place on this sheet of paper. Once dry, I will cut around the outside edge and we will have a nice little note area on the back of the tags, on the back of the note cards, and then the dangles will be finished off with that nice little note. So now that I have that dried, I'm trimming up, going around the edges and making sure that there is nothing that's going to be loose. So I'm utilizing some glitter glue just to tighten up any edges that may not have taken. Inking around the outside once again with a little bit of black. I do have this on a faster speed, so it's not taking a tremendous amount of time. But when you are seeing me stamping, I have... N-O-T-E-S, or notes, taped together, and I am just stamping notes on the back of each of these. Once finished, I'm going to put, of course, the binding tape on the top and use the little bulb pen to attach my dangles to that binding tape at the top of those tags, and we have some finished pieces. Out of that one piece of packaging, I was able to create these note cards, a bunch of tags and of course these little dangles and this is these these little white ones are some fails that I had I pulled out the wrong embossing powder but I will let you take a look at the finished product and I will link the packaging coffee cup prompts in the very end screen so if you want to go back and see what we've done from December I think we started with index cards we've done packaging this month we have done, what else? I don't even know. I can't even, toilet paper. So there's all sorts of things. I thank you for being here. Please give me that thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate you. Bye for now.